Привет, товарищ. How's it hanging? A little to the left. Hey, not bad, Goldie. So, did you shut down the pumps in the tunnels with those fuel rods? Нет. Too much KGB heat on the tunnels because of the theft. I should have seen it coming. Anyway, it's too dangerous for Sergei and me to infiltrate them now. Well, we gotta shut those pumps down. Whole town smells like Newark. Oh, we will, Crypto. Have no fear. And this time, I want you on the job. I need you to carry a fuel rod into each of the tunnels and place it in the reactor of each of the pumping machines. Sergei and I have hidden a container of fuel rods near each tunnel. Wait, you, you lost me. Didn't you say the tunnel entrances were crawling with KGB? Da, but not while the scientists conduct their weekly radiation tests. No sweat, dollface. Consider those pumps out of order.
looking for an opening in the machine to stick the fuel rod in. Ought to be able to get that one right at least.
opening in the machine to stick the fuel rod in. Oh. Ought to be able to get that far. Oh. The reactor is overloading, Crypto! Get out oh. fast! It's going to blow! Oh. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Look at those bad boys burn. Hold the phone. What do these freaks want? Wait a minute. Now that I think of it, that machinery looks suspiciously familiar. Oh, my. Holy hookers of Arkfoodle! Crypto, do you know who these freaks are? They're not commie cabbage heads? Great galaxies, no! They're not even human! They're the enemy! Our enemy! The enemy we Furons defeated in the Martian War! Crypto! They're Blisk! Blisk? Wait a minute, I, I thought we wiped the Blisk out! I have no explanation! I can barely believe my senses! 
but a few of them must have somehow survived! Not for long. Attention, Blisk. I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. And your asses belong to me. I think those crabby shells aren't bad enough. Crypto, keep those blisk away from the radioactive gas. It appears to recharge their sh- Tell me about it. You gotta fill me in on this whole Blisk thing, Pox. My... my hard drive is spinning. I hardly know where to begin. They're huge, hideous brutes with giant claws and withering halitosis. They have a single hive mind and an imperviousness to radiation. They take to it like a pig to mud. Imagine a cockroach mating with a lobster. Oi, enough already. You're making me queasy. Humans assume the Tunguska Blast of 1908 was caused by a meteorite. But now we know its true cause. The fiery crash of a Blisk warship! Listen, I, I skipped most of military history. How'd that war get started, anyway? Millennia ago, Mars was an ocean world and the Blisk ruled an underwater paradise. Frankly, they were more than a little cocky about it. The war was long and bitter, but in the end, we reduced their world to desert and wiped them out! Or so we thought. We obliterated most of their warships, though one we could not account for. We assumed it had been destroyed, but it must have been merely disabled and drifted helplessly through space until it crash-landed here on Earth. And I'm guessing the Krabbies ain't the forgiven type. After what we did to them, not bloody likely. Yeah, well, don't you worry your virtual little head, Pox. This time they're going down for good. A bold statement. Many Furons fell thanks to the Blisk. And there's another problem. Since the war, the Furon defense budget has been... downsized. I fear that most of our current weapons will be ineffective against the Blisk. Downsize the defense budget? What the hell did the Emperor do that for? The Blisk were exterminated. No one else posed such a lethal threat. We didn't need the big guns. But none of us saw this coming. Okay, well, at least we know what we're up against. What do you want me to do? I'll contact you with new orders as soon as I have some idea what's going on. Until then, just... don't do anything rash. Rash me? Nah, I got a cream for that. Clear to ride up. Thank you. 